With one show down and two to go, Michael Jackson is dazzling Denver. Jackson performed the first Denver concert of his bad tour last night at McNichols Arena. To review it for us, a man has attended six Jackson concerts over the years, Justin Mitchell, who is the music reviewer for the Rocky Mountain News. <laughs> enough to catch Michael Jackson in Denver this weekend will see an exercise in controlled spontaneity, right down to the carefully disciplined athletes, hip thrusts, and moonwalks. But Michael has made some changes. No longer tied to his brothers, he's free to give the audience a taste of his undistilled, passionate style, surrounded by musicians and special effects of his choice. Along with explosions, fans also witnessed lasers, lights, gangster and horror vignettes, and enough fog to replicate one of Denver's infamous high pollution days. Unfortunately, the sound didn't always live up to what was going on on stage. Unlike the video recording, the sound of McNichols was often muddled. Well, last night's show began a trifle on the sluggish side with his trademark opening number, Want to Be Starting Something. The something really didn't start until about six songs into the two-hour show. But forget all the bad press about his plastic surgery and hyperbaric oxygen chambers. Behind his reclusive, often eccentric behavior, there is a consummate entertainer. And it was this Michael Jackson on display at McNichols Arena. There's no question, the man sings and dances like no one else. And he can often say as much with a dramatic pause as he can with a carefully punctuated hip thrust. His body is as much an instrument as his voice. But the moments I enjoyed most were Michael alone with his voice. Stripped of the rock and roll Disney environment, Jackson is a joy to experience. For News Center 4, this is guest reviewer Justin Mitchell. He's, he's known to be a bit eccentric, and he may moonwalking a household word. Who is he? And finally, there was standing room only again at McNichols Arena in Denver tonight, and it wasn't the Nuggets pulling in the crowd. It was the slickest rock concert on the road today. Michael Jackson is in town for a three-day run that ends tomorrow. Last night, 16,000 fans crammed into McNichols. The show has easily as much glitter and energy as it does music.